All right, so what we have now are the details coming in that uh, this is big news. Delhi police has got uh, seven days police remand of news click accused. Uh, that's a big breaking news that we have got, an update that has come in from our colleagues. Uh, and this is the big breaking news from the reporters. Delhi police got seven days police remand of news click accused. And this means accused means that uh, the founder of news click and uh, the HR head of the news click as well. Seven days police remand has been granted to Delhi police for the next seven days. So this is going to be important. Seven days, remember, basically because the Delhi police would uh, want to question, uh, interrogate and grill the two. And the editor-in-chief is Parbri Porkayasta. Um, and he's been a senior journalist. He's been in the industry for several years. But news click is where there have been allegations that there was foreign funding of pro-China propaganda that had to be pushed out and that also referred to against India. Let me bring in Himanshu Mishra for the details on that. Yes, Himanshu, go ahead. Saad Din ki police remand. Iska kya reason hota hai? Kis tarah se aur kyu police ne ye Saad Din ki remand maangi hai? देखिए ये सात दिन बेहद महत्वपूर्ण है क्योंकि जब जब जांच करीब सबसे पहले इकोनॉमिक अफेंस विंग ने 2021 में तो उनको कुछ ऐसे डॉक्यूमेंट्स मिले कि उन्हें ये जांच ईडी को आ गई फिर ईडी ने इन्वेस्टिगेशन शुरू की ईडी ने इन्वेस्टिगेशन जब शुरू की तो उसके बाद ईडी ने रेड भी की थी ईडी की रेड के बाद फिर अचानक से उन्हें कुछ जांच के दौरान ऐसे डॉक्यूमेंट्स मिलते हैं कि वो स्पेशल सेल को डॉक्यूमेंट देते हैं और स्पेशल सेल ने फिर उन डॉक्यूमेंट के आधार पर यूएपीए का केस रजिस्टर किया अब यूएपीए का जब केस रजिस्टर किया तो उसके बाद फिर दिल्ली पुलिस की स्पेशल सेल ने एक साथ तकरीबन तीस से ज्यादा जगहों पर रेड किया कुल 37 मेल्स और 9 फीमेल जो इनके अलग अलग जो इनके एम्प्लॉयज हैं जिसमें प्रबीरपुर का है जो ओनर है उनसे लेकर के एचआर हेड से लेकर हर किसी से 37 मेल और 9 फीमेल जो मेंबर्स हैं उनसे पूछताछ की गई तमाम जो डॉक्यूमेंट्स थे इलेक्ट्रॉनिक गैजेट थे हमने देखा कि जो टीम्स कल गई हुई थी पूजा जब वो वापस लौट के आ रही थी तो उनके हाथों में जो तमाम लैपटॉप मोबाइल फोन इवन जो हार्ड डिस्क है वो सारी चीजें पुलिस ने सीज कर ली ताकि जो बातचीत है जो मेल्स हैं उन सबको रिकवर किया जा सके अगर कहीं को डिलीट है और उसके आधार पर आगे की इन्वेस्टिगेशन बढ़ाई जाए इस दौरान पुलिस ने पूरे दिन इन्वेस्टिगेशन की पूरे दिन लोगों के स्टेटमेंट रजिस्टर किए और रात में तकरीबन आठ साढ़े आठ बजे के आसपास पुलिस ने बताया कि दो लोगों को इस पूरे एक्सरसाइज के बाद प्रबीरपुर का है जो की ओनर है और इसके अलावा जो एचआर हेड है अमित चक्रवर्ती उनको गिरफ्तार किया गया सात दिन की रिमांड इसलिए महत्वपूर्ण है कि इन सात दिनों में अब पुलिस को ये कोर्ट के सामने रखना होगा कि उन्हें क्या कुछ मिला जो एफआईआर पुलिस ने रजिस्टर की उससे जुड़े क्या सबूत पुलिस को मिले या फिर इसके लिए जो तमाम जो इन, जो रेड की गई उस रेड के दौरान जो सीजर हुए उस सीजर से पुलिस को क्या कुछ हासिल हुआ और जो बताया जा रहा है कि जो कुछ ऐसी कंपनियां थी जिसके जरिए जो पैसा इन तक पहुंचा था वो कौन लोग थे उसके पीछे जिन्होंने पैसा न्यूज क्लिक तक पहुंचाया तो ये सारी चीजें इन्वेस्टिगेट करने के लिए ये अगले सात दिन पुलिस के लिए बेहद महत्वपूर्ण होने वाले हैं पूजा All right, so Himanshu Mishra will be tracking all the latest that the Delhi police is uh, currently will be investigating on this seven days remand for the editor in chief of NewsClick and the HR head. HR head is primarily because of the foreign funding issues. How was the funding received? Uh, how was it distributed? Who all got uh, the from the part of the 38.05 crore rupees? And if it was from China, how, who all got it? What was it used for? All of that will also be investigated. Uh, Munish Pandey is joining me on the latest. Munish closely tracks the investigative agencies. Munish, uh, should we say uh, that the ED action that was taken in August is connected to the Delhi police investigating this matter or is this two different cases? Do, do shed some light on it of how this 38 crore rupees has really become an issue now for the news portal to prove that it was valid funding, valid money and it was distributed not as a pro-China propaganda. Munish, if you can hear me, yes. All right, so we'll just go back to Munish in just a short while. That's the big news coming in. Delhi cops have got seven-day remand of the accused, and that's the editor-in-chief and uh, the HR head of the news portal NewsClick for allegedly spreading a pro-China propaganda, receiving 38 crore rupees. 
but two uh, uh, two allegations definitely catch one by surprise one is about 9 crore rupees sent to a non existent company as per ed sources and 1.55 crore rupees to an electrician for petty maintenance work uh, munish pandey joins us munish you tell us uh, is this connected how is the ed pushing it and what does it mean when delhi police says we will need 7 days of the remand of these accused Well, Pooja, you rightly pointed out the entire investigation by the Delhi Police is based on the probe which was carried out by the Enforcement Directorate. Now, as far as the 38 crore rupees is concerned, and Pooja, this becomes extremely important. Nine crore rupees came through foreign direct investment by a non-existent company, World Media Holding Limited, a company owned by Shanghai-based uh, uh, Nivel Roy Singham. but out of 38 crore rupees almost 29 crore rupees came through certain other methods for example subscription of news click and uh, for some of the services which news click was providing but at this point of time what we have been given to understand is that when mr amit and mr prabir when they were questioned by the enforcement directorate they were not able to explain the fact that uh, who all were the subscriber how the 28 crore rupees came in the account of uh, news click and how this money was distributed yesterday we have been given to understand by our sources within the delhi police is that when mr prabir and mr amit when they were questioned by the officials of delhi police even at that point of time they were unable to explain the source of 38 crore rupees the valid source of 38 crore rupees and how it was distributed between the activists journalists to allegedly push chinese agenda and this is why they have been arrested by the delhi police now the challenges for the delhi police is going to be first of all to prove there is a terror angle in this case because remember they have been booked under uapa also they have to prove that indeed the money was uh, distributed illegally and trouble is not ending pooja here for mr prabir or mr amit or the other accused in the case because remember once their custody of uh, delhi police is concerned ed is already awaiting for them to be arrested uh, you know in the money laundering case so there is a high possibility that once the seven day custody is over they are sent to judicial custody after a month or so they will be arrested by ed also so there's okay. no chance likely it appears that they'll be getting out very soon specifically if they are unable to prove what was the money about where was it coming from who did it go to and did that money go to activists so called or individuals who then pushed out deliberate pro china propaganda that was also against India all of this remember is a chain trail it will have to be proven investigation is on but for now two accused editor in chief hr head of news click behind bars